What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to draw a loose structure for PCL3, phosphorus chloride. And the first thing we need to do, we need to identify the central atom, which is usually the element with the highest bonding capacity, or the one that we have just one atom of it, which looks like P is going to be the central element in here. So P has five valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five. And chlorine, it has seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's how you arrange them. So the bonding capacity of phosphorus is one two three and the bonding capacity of chlorine is only one so the bonding capacity of phosphorus is higher than cl so p is the central atom so i'm gonna have I'm going to write the symbol of the central atom and then arrange the symbols of the atoms for the rest of the elements, which we are dealing with three chlorine here. Then next thing we need to do, we need to add up the number of valence electrons available in an atom of each of the elements. So this number represents the total number of electrons or total number of dots you can draw in your Lewis structure. So P, we have five of them. So total number of valence electrons. So five plus three times seven, because chlorine has seven of them. So five plus 21 is going to be 26. Then what we need to do, we need to place a pair of electrons between each adjacent pair of atoms. Every two of those dots represents a bonding electron pair that forms a single covalent bond. So one, two, one, two, one, two. That's going to be the pair of electrons between each adjacent pair of atoms. Next step, we need to place pairs of the remaining valence electrons as lone pairs on the surrounding atoms. So we need to put the lone pairs on the surrounding atoms. So we have one, two, 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 one, two. Now, next step is going to be we need to find out how many available electrons we still have so total number of available electrons is going to be the total number of electrons <clears throat> which we had 26 minus whatever we used so far 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 one more time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 times 2 is going to be 24. So we still have two more electrons. Now, next step would be place the remaining electrons on the central atom in pairs. So I'm going to write it again because I want to show it step by step. So we had it like that. Now what you can do, we can put the extra two in here. So we use them all. Now we need to check that if all of them are in octet rule, the follow octet rule. I forgot to put these two here. So we have eight here, eight here, eight here, 
1, 2, 3, 4 times 2, 8 for phosphorus as well. So we have octet rule for all of them. The loose structure is going to be like that. We need to replace shared electrons with dashes. That's going to be the loose structure for PCL3. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.